Hey YouTube, we're back and hopefully we're back for good. Today we're on the uh, corner of Robson and Butte. We're doing street interviews, the thing that we've been doing for a while and we have stopped for a year and a half. So hopefully this goes well and hopefully we do well. Today we're asking people, name three positive things about COVID because we know that we always talk about the negative stuff in life and anything. We complain about stuff. So name three positive things. This is Vancouver Talks. Everybody talks about the negative things about COVID. Right. Yeah. Can you name three positive things about COVID, the whole situation? It gives you time for yourself. Okay, right. right. You put yourself first now. I mean, everyone learned that. Kind of sit back time. and like review yourself and things. Yeah. 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 It makes like, you realize like you don't want to take people for granted. It's so easy to think about negative things. Everybody just always negative. Yeah. <laughs> Save money? Yeah. So you don't Save go out money. as much? I mean, everything's closed, so... You don't yeah. spend on unnecessary things because mm -hmm. lots of things are closed? Well, I learned a couple of new things. I learned Spanish. Well, still learning. I started learning uh, piano. Oh. I can play the piano now a little bit. We got more time to learn. More time for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. But we got to realize how uh, important human interaction is. Face-to-face -face mm. interaction. Because face yeah. once that's gone, it's... Yeah. yeah, this this stuff is kind of like exactly. We have more personal space, definitely. Oh yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't like people. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why I'm doing this. <laughs> because of COVID, a lot of people lost their job, which is bad. Yeah. But also that kind of gives people time to think about what they really want to do in their life. A lot of people go to work and they don't want to. They just go there to make money, just to survive. It wasn't but like a passion. Exactly. They sometimes think. When they, after they finish their work, they come home and then they think about like, oh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. But then they stop thinking because they have to go to bed early to get up early tomorrow and then go back to work again. Now everybody kind of uh, forced to stay home and they lost their job. So they have they have a lot of free time to think about themselves. Themselves, so, yeah, their lives. So, yeah, I think a lot of people realize about themselves. Yeah. Not only about the job, but also in general, like they think about them, their life. Yeah, oh. which is like kind of good because everybody is so busy yeah surviving yeah but then totally it kind of uh put people in a situation where we think about what we really want to do what we really want to accomplish in our life yeah, yeah. okay a tough question yeah exactly exactly <laughs> I, and i, I want to change the whole like perspective there yeah three positive things then use negative stuff yeah, and... i totally under i guess uh one positive would be i've had to become a lot closer with my family and my friends because i've been spending so much time with them and i don't know i'm from a small town and can't really go do anything else so I've just been like getting really close to the people that I have been hanging around with okay. and my boyfriend and stuff so during like normal times you're like it was like kind of work like work out. work totally or go out and have fun yeah so when you actually have to oh a second positive is for me anyways I'm learning how to like be okay with doing nothing because normally I'm like I need oh. to be so distracted all the time and like do this do that do that but I'm really like Going inward, which is hard. Oh. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? I can't understand Am that. I, yeah. No, no, I understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So that's a, I don't know if that's like a positive for the collective, but it's positive for me. So I think it's positive for you, which is perfect. I think some people should do that too. Yeah. I really totally. think so too. Mm -hmm. It's because sometimes it's really hard to like kind of be there by yourself with thoughts. Oh, 100%. So working on that one. Okay, last, um, third one. Third one. Oh my goodness. Make it, I'm making her think. <laughs> You okay. sure are. Yeah. Which is good. Man. This, is, this is what it's all about. So do you mean like positive within like the whole world or? Whatever. You know what? Whatever you think. I think another positive thing is like people are kind of starting to like wake up a little bit to like things that maybe they weren't before. Example? Like mm, just like things like maybe not everything you see in the news is like 100% true. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a positive thing for the world anyways, to not just look at something and not question it. Like, people are starting to finally, like, question yeah. what's actually going on around them. Yeah. Do you know what and I mean? Kind of, yeah, and, and I think that ties into, like, looking inward, too. Totally. Right? Because yeah. you're so used to, like, external yeah. stuff. More time to spend with our families. That could be positive and negative. Oh, Depends yeah. on your family. Just end COVID. Uh, <laughs> end the COVID situation and everything is going to be normal. It was easy to focus on yourself and do like the things you haven't yeah. been able to do. I personally started up like new hobbies like painting oh. for example. And I think I wouldn't have done that if it weren't for COVID. Uh, extra free time. Yeah, exactly. From a privileged standpoint, it taught us that we took 
previous things for granted, yeah. like concerts, traveling. Like we're able to yeah. use time instead of like, oh, we need to use that time to catch up on like earning more money and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, actually, yeah. we actually use that time to like you know explore our hobbies. Like I started embroidering, oh. so it's like you know like stuff that you would never like do before. Wow, you but, like, you <laughs> gotta be really bored to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I started knitting, I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like I started really living, like, a farm lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. also started, like, saving more. So you're not drinking, you're not, yeah, you're not spending, spending that much money. Dining, there's no yeah, dining for a long exactly. time. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That was kind of nice. We, did, we didn't really spend on, like, useless things yeah. no, before no. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, hello, we just came out of Nordstrom and how we did spend on useless things. I can't even show. Do I look like I show? No, not on struggle. Nope. I've learned to appreciate people a lot more. When I have social opportunity these days, I take it. That's why I'm doing this. I have so much more appreciation after having spent so long without being able to talk to people. Yeah. Now I'm like, why not always just talk to people? You have nothing to lose. You only have things to gain. So I feel like I've learned um, learned the value of people. And it's way talking. more different when like you're face to face and not in a computer screen. Yeah, on a webcam. so much so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I have learned personal growth so, like, for internal. myself. Internal. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely extroverted, which I I don't mind. I've learned to be alone, and I actually have liked that. Uh, so I've kind of like just been able to learn to spend more time with just myself, and that's been nice actually. In your own thoughts. And in my own thoughts, and like just being more comfortable with spending time with just by myself it's actually like really weird now because um, when things are gonna change i'm like am i gonna go back or am i gonna have this part of me that wants to be alone as well i don't know so we'll see i don't know i, I feel the same way i um i practice to be extroverted i'm actually naturally introverted yeah okay. so i'm okay yeah but i have to talk to people you have to have a certain level of social confidence yeah. to do this yeah okay maybe maybe <laughs> okay third one last one third one <laughs> those know. are good those are those are two what? good ones what do you have one <laughs> positive thing about covid positive situation. thing about covid oh this is so hard um yeah it doesn't have to be you it could be like family friends it could be the world it could be insects we've gotten Boys. so much better out of necessity at communicating with each other over long distances like over zoom now like i've gotten in touch with some people just super easily it's easy to reconnect over social media now like we've really adapted yeah that's been nice I guess like I, I've had yeah. kind of some zoom sessions that I know wouldn't have happened with certain people if we weren't in a pandemic okay. kind of like, so like I don't know forced to have those kind of yeah just like that that new platform or how it's grown so yeah. much I think that's gonna be around for a bit too absolutely yeah. I think so thanks for watching share like subscribe check out our other videos that we have linked up in this end splash screen that we usually have up and running Sometimes there's a splash, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes it could just be me standing there talking to you guys. Not that any of you guys care, ever, at all. I usually just get hate comments. Anyway, um, I'm gonna score out.